Well, one of the things about my career that I really feel the most proud of is that I've had an opportunity to work in the public sector and the private sector and the social sector. And when I think about the problems uh, that the world is facing that are the most intractable, I actually think what we need are these kind of triple impact leaders, people who really understand the challenges that the public sector faces and the important role that it um, has to play, actually, in solving, I think, most, most problems as well as really understanding the private sector's contribution in that. Um, but in the main, I've spent the last uh, probably 10 years of my life in the social sector. I was the chief operating officer for the Planned Parenthood Federation of America based in New York City, which is the national headquarters for Planned Parenthood. And for the last seven years, I have worked at the Harambe Youth Employment Accelerator, which is a South African-based organization tackling the problems of youth employment on the African continent. My experience uh, at law school I often talk about as a big changing point in my life. I had come to Yale after uh, finishing graduate school at Oxford. I was a Rhodes Scholar and then had done um, a stint at McKinsey and Company doing consulting work. And um, coming to the law school I think with a little bit of work experience and probably a little bit of age I think allowed for me to make the most of, I think, the incredible freedom that this place can give you and a sense of um, defining your own rules and not I think playing the game everybody around you may be stressed out and playing. And so it was a period of, I think, immense actually happiness, which is I'm not sure a word that people use to describe their law school career, but I just think of it as probably three of the fondest years of my life. I was, um, uh, I felt like it was a chance to just be who I wanted to be. And again, I think that was in large part because I had dealt with a lot of, um, I think, my own issues prior to coming. You can kind of keep messing up for a long time before it really matters. Because once you've made it to Yale Law School, it's probably gonna be okay. So I just wanna like repeat that. It's probably just all gonna be okay. I had really no idea. I had come from um, working at McKinsey. I had felt like I was done with um, more school. And so I knew this was gonna kind of be my last degree. And I never took the bar. I actually uh, left the law school and did a clerkship on the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals with um, now Chief Judge Diane Wood. And what that actually experienced solidified for me was that my curiosity about the kind of judicial system was fully satisfied within the clerkship and that um, what I took from Yale Law School was actually more the thinking skills and the writing skills and that I could take those into many other realms. And so I think follow in the footsteps of many other Yale Law graduates who end up uh, maybe not directly in the legal field, but I think adjacent to some of the issues that animate why we all come to law school in the first place. I had no immediate plans to live on the African continent, and I ended up there because I fell in love, which is an important part of my story as well. And I think that the more that students really think about the globalization needs, not just, I think, the very hard work that I think is left to do in the United States, but an opportunity to think about actually how common many of the challenges are that we're facing, and that if we can count on Yale Law School to be, I think, a leader in understanding where the whole world is heading and where Africa is heading and where the issues that are going to, I think, connect so many, China, Europe, connect so many of these superpowers in the future. I would really hope that that's a place that students would um, open their minds and expand their horizons um, and think about. Because I think for me, it's now I'm very far away watching the United States and actually thinking that the more that schools like Yale produce leaders who can have that same perspective, I think that it'll hold the world in good stead.